Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I have for you a quick tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to build this hopper pulse lengthener. This is something that I'd done a while ago, however I've compacted this down to a tiny amount of space. You can see here this thing just takes up a 3x3 three three area and it is two blocks high. However, when you activate it, it does take an extra block up into the sky here because of this sticky piston. But this thing is so compact that even the input is right in the middle on the inside. So when I press this button here, what's going to happen is we will activate a T flip flop, which is made out of this one tick pulse going into this sticky piston. So it's going to pull this block back and all of the items in this hopper are going to make their way into this one here. So at that point, our output turns on, which is that comparator right there. And then when there's no items left in this hopper, it's going to turn off this comparator, which means this torch turns on. Our T flip flop gets activated again. The block gets pushed back over to the other side, and then the items make their way all back over there. So let's have a look. You can see the items will now be going into that hopper. And then it turns off and it pushes it back over, and the items make their way back onto the other side. So our output turns off. And just like before, the amount of items that you have in the hopper is what determines the length of the output. So building this is really simple and everything that you need is on my hotbar so you can pause the video if you want to gather those materials. But we're going to start off by placing a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top of it. Then a block in front and two to the side. And on the one on the side you want to put a piece of redstone on top and a button there. And then a redstone torch on this block and a repeater facing in this direction on that one there. Then on the side of that repeater we want to place a sticky piston facing towards us and below it a comparator facing away. Then we're going to put two hoppers facing into each other so we need to hold down shift and just place them like that so they face into each other. Then we can put a block of redstone on the side of this sticky piston, a comparator facing into this block here and then we're actually going to need a couple more items. We're going to put some random items into the hopper which is going to determine the length of the pulse and so when we put that in there this thing is going to set itself and then it will be ready for use. So let's press this button, you'll see it's going to work just as intended. So now that we've built this you're probably wondering how long is the pulse going to be based on the amount of items that I put into the hopper. Well there is a simple calculation for this. We take the amount of items, we multiply it by 2, then take away 1 and multiply that number by 0 0.4 and we will get the length of the output in seconds. So we have 10 items in this hopper. If we multiply that by 2 we're going to get 20, take away 1 for 19 and then when we multiply that by 0 0.4 we're going to get 7.6. So when I press this button right here our output is going to be turned on for 7.6 seconds. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and there is a schematic available for download in the description box. But other than that, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.